So I'm just going to read you an email that I got about alcohol. I wanted to ask your opinion on alcohol and anorexia and where you think it fits amidst everything. Would you class it as a food if you're restricting in, in the same way because of calories? And what do you drink to eat because you relax and eat more? I don't understand. I don't think I read that right, but anyway. I very much enjoy wine, although I normally have it at the weekend, and if it's on my own or with a meal, it would only be one glass. However, if it's with friends, then it would easily be a bottle. This is normal because it's spread over a couple of hours, and this is the time I also eat unrestricted. I guess you could call it binge eating. It's more than I would dream to eat or snack on normally, Stinky wants to weigh in his opinion on this, don't you, sweetheart? I have a proper healthy and balanced diet, but I do restrict, so I'm scared of some foods. Then it's not a proper and healthy balanced diet, is it, if you restrict? The next day I feel terrible, partly because of the alcohol, but mainly because of lack of sleep and guilt from eating. I have tried more recently not to restrict the day after and eat regardless. I love you so much. I have recently given up alcohol for Lent, but because I wasn't to... Because I want to try and eat more foods, that scares me without numbing effect of alcohol. I was listening to one of your podcasts on recovery binges, and it struck me that I only really binge when I drink. Um, So I wondered on your thoughts now. Sorry, this is long and rambly. Well, my thoughts on all of that is that if you're restricting food, you are not eating a balanced and healthy diet. I hate the word healthy, but I hate the word balanced, actually, when it comes to diet. Stinky dunk, chew mama's fingers. Um... But, you know, if you're, rest- if you're restricting food, then you're not actually eating all the things that your body wants you to eat, are you? You're judging what your body wants <laughs> and putting your judgment on top of it. And you- that's still restriction. It's restriction, restriction, restriction. And restriction is restriction. So, first of all, I'd say, don't kid yourself that everything's hunky-dory if you're restricting. Second of all, I'd say, well, you probably, those nights that you're sort of saying, oh, I drink a little bit too much wine and then I binge, those are probably the only times when you really eat what your body wants you to eat at the moment because the alcohol has reduced your inhibition and your healthy brain is more able to say, want, 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 I want all this food because that's what it really wants because you're restricting. Now, of course, when you stop restricting, you start allowing yourself to eat whatever the heck you want when you want, then you're going to eat a load of food, but that will calm down. And you'll probably find that after a while, when you're 100% nutritionally rehabilitated and you eat what you want, when you want, and all of those things without restriction, that gradually your tendency to eat way more food when uh, or after you've been drinking will reduce. In the same way, my tendency to eat a ton of food all night, reduced and reduced and reduced as I nutritionally rehabilitated and ate adequately during the day. So what I would also say is that the types of food that you eat after you've been drinking are the types of food likely that you restrict on the most, or most of the time. You know, I knew that when I was in the evening, when I was less um, feeling less um, inhibited by anorexia, it was always easier for me to eat in the evening. I would eat tons of sweet foods and cakes and chocolate and fatty foods. That is what my body really wanted. And those were the foods that I had to learn to make myself eat during the daytime when it was hard for me to eat. So it's very likely, and this is just my opinion, but it's very likely that the foods that you eat after you've been drinking are the foods that you probably want to eat more of and you should be eating more of the rest of the time. Alcohol? Well, there are a lot of links between eating disorders and alcoholism alcohol problems. I'm talking about people who do not have an alcoholism problem. That's who I'm talking about. So I do not have an alcoholism problem. For me, alcohol was something I really enjoyed as a teenager and because it's legal in the UK when you're a teenager. And then anorexia, I became very scared of alcohol and I restricted on alcohol heavily because of the calories that are in it. And so it's not like I didn't ever drink, but I was terrified of it. And if I was going to drink in the evening, I would restrict even more heavily or exercise even more heavily all through the day. So I would event restrict for drinking alcohol in the evening. Um, And I know that feeling that you write about here, about you wake up and you feel so guilty because I'd know that I'd eaten more food if I'd drunk. And then I, you know, I used to sit there in the morning and I'd be slightly hungover and I'd go over how many drinks I'd had and I'd try and count up the calories and calorie count. It's just very stressful, anxiety provoking and boring as well. Thank God that 
When you get nutritionally rehabilitated and you've done the neural rewiring that is required to fully recover from anorexia, your brain won't give a shit. And you won't need to event restrict. That's something that you might need to work on initially to stop yourself from event restricting before you're going on a night out. But that need to event restrict will get less and less and less the more confident you get in your body and the more you start to realize that your body is not a calculator and that having a couple of drinks on a friday and saturday night makes an iota of difference to what your body actually looks like feels like or is um, and so your confidence grows in those things and then you realize oh, well, what's the point what is the point in event restricting it doesn't make me happy it isn't nice it isn't nice to my body either to not give any food before i go out it doesn't make any difference because my body can tolerate, my body can handle extra calories of an evening in the form of alcohol. It's going to metabolize that. Nothing bad is going to happen. So you start to realize there's no point in event restricting. Um, and it's also an eating sort of behavior. So you need to cut that out in order to rewire the neural pathways. We're going to try and eliminate all of the eating disorder behaviors, right? So long story short, I, about now, now, however old I am, late 30s, I am back and have been for years back to where I was when I was a teenager with alcohol. It's just not even like somebody could say to me after work tonight, I don't, I don't drink before speaking to clients, <laughs> but somebody could say to me after work, do you want a beer? Do you want a glass of wine? Do you want a gin and tonic? I'm just going to say yeah without thinking about it. And the other part of this that I really love is that I didn't used to only consider the calories. So I'd be sort of like event restricting calories or exercising more in anticipation of drinking alcohol that has calories in it. But I would also sort of only allow myself, because it's like back to the orthorexia thing, I would only allow myself um, two nights or so a week where I'd have a drink. And, and so, you know, one of the things that used to, as well as the calories, be on my mind, say if someone just came over and was like, hey, do you want to go out for a beer? One of the things would be like, oh, I already drank Friday night and I drank um, Saturday night, so Sunday night I can't, I can't do that because I've already had my two nights. Do you see what I mean? It was like I had that counter going on in terms of the number of drinks that I could have a week anyway. And none of that happens anymore. My brain isn't at all interested in doing that, which is wonderful. And my brain is even less interested in thinking about, oh, am I allowed to go out for a beer because how much have I eaten today? Just doesn't, like none of that happens. In, it's incredible to me how amazing our brains are and how my brain has rewired completely so that none of those thought patterns that used to happen when I had anorexia happen now that I'm fully recovered, which by the way, is the whole fucking point.